Let's turn this bar cart from Amazon into a cozy coffee station for at home. Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. I am the biggest fan of coffee there is probably on the planet. If you are to leave me a comment below because we can be BFFs. As we approach the fall season, creating cozy drinks at home is more special than ever and I love having that option. Today I'm gonna show you how to take something like this, like this bar cart off of Amazon, and turn it into a cozy and sweet coffee station. I'm gonna share a few DIYs for it with you today, plus some ideas on how to make your coffee station look chic on a budget. Let's get started. I'm starting with this beautiful gold colored Amazon bar cart. I will link it in the description box below. I bought it off of Amazon Canada, but I'll leave the US link as well. I loved it because of the gold color and there's some optional wine glass holders and wine bottle holders that you can either put in or leave out. To begin, of course, every coffee station needs a coffee maker, and I do have an espresso machine. It's a Breville, but I admit I bought this second smaller one for our RV and for the second coffee station, and it's not quite as good as my original one, but it does a pretty good job of making a decent latte, and I'll link this one down in the description box below if you're interested in this one as well. Now I had this old tray, I think I got it from the brick a couple years ago and I do like it but I wanted to make it a little bit more lighter and brighter for our living room. I'm using this sample of fusion mineral paint that I had on hand to give this a little bit of a makeover. Fusion mineral paint is very similar to a chalk style paint and it has really good coverage. Also you don't have to sand or do much prep work at all if you want to use it. So I'm just taking a small brush and I'm using that to paint on this white color paint from Fusion Mineral Paints. If I can find this paint, I will leave a link to it down in the description box below as well. I only ended up putting one coat of paint on this tray because I wanted sort of a vintage distressed look. And then after everything dried, I took this sanding sponge and sanded off some of the paint to leave this distressed look. I think this works really well when you have a piece that has lots of detail like this tray does. I think it really just highlights the detail and makes the piece look so shabby chic. So here is the tray all finished, all painted. I also had these syrups from last year. They're Pumpkin Spice Trio by Skinny Syrups that I found at HomeSense. And I wanted to make them look a little bit cuter. This is of course optional. You don't have to do this for your coffee station, but I enjoy things like this. So I took some lemon essential oil and I used that to take all of the sticky stuff off of the bottles. You can also do this with eucalyptus essential oil. And then I'm using my Cricut to make some cute little labels for my coffee syrups. Now you don't have to use a Cricut to make labels. You could use your printer and some label paper. You can buy little labels at places like Staples or Office Depot, and then just use your printer to print out the labels. I wanted to try to use my Cricut Joy for this because it has this really cool writing feature where you can put a pen in it and it can write out and draw for you. And then of course it can cut the labels to any size that you want. Then I put the labels on my syrup bottles and I think it just makes them look a little more high end. So I put those on top of the tray on the left side of the coffee station. Now one tip when you're creating any sort of coffee station or vignette of any sort in your home, always think about height. How can you add different heights to your display? And I think that's what this tray does is add a little bit of height. You also want to think of how can you add lifelike things and greenery and that's what I'm doing here. This green plant in the back is from Dollarama so it was like $2 Canadian and I also found these coffee containers there at Dollarama as well. They were only $3 each and I love the bamboo tops. So I just put some coffee beans and some hot chocolate in those bamboo containers and I love how the greenery looks behind it. Also, when you're doing a coffee station, think about how you can display your mugs. I found this mug stand on Amazon, I will link it below, and I'm going to be using these mugs from Ikea. You might remember them from last week's video, one of my favorite finds from there lately. I'm putting these mugs on the mug stand, 
I'm only putting them on the top and then I'm adding a mug to the coffee machine as well. I like how these are gray but they have that little detail on them. Now let's talk again about differing your heights. I'm using an upside down bowl and I'm placing a faux pumpkin on top of that and then two other faux pumpkins beneath it. These ones are from Michaels and Dollar Store. And then I'm adding some faux fall branches. There's no real ones here yet, but I know they're gonna be here in about a month or so. And the finishing touch here for this styling is a nice textured towel. I played around with some different colors, but in the end, I like this neutral color. Now let's dry some orange slices to make a cute little banner for our coffee station. To do this, you can take an orange, you can take a regular orange or a blood orange like I'm using. This is a Cara Cara orange. Slice it up into quarter inch slices and place those slices on a parchment lined baking sheet. This is such an easy craft and you could use this for fall and Christmas as well this year. Pop it in the oven and you're gonna to wanna to put your oven at 175 degrees Fahrenheit, so very, very low temperature. And then you're going to want to bake these in the oven for two to three hours. It's going to depend on how juicy and thickly sliced your orange peels are, but I mine were done in about three hours and you wanna make sure you flip them every half an hour. In the end, they look like this, so beautiful and I love the natural look. To make this fall banner, I found this copper string light from Dollar Tree for only a dollar and I'm taking it and I'm stringing it through the center of each of my dried orange peels. This is a very simple way to make a nice cozy banner for fall and I think this would look great for the holidays too. Then you can just wrap the ends of the wire anywhere that they fit. In my case, I'm wrapping them around each corner of my coffee station. And then you just wanna make sure you tuck the battery pack behind something so you don't see it. I'm tucking mine behind my coffee machine. And finally, you just want to move the orange slices to where you want them. And you can kind of bend the wire to keep the orange slices in place. So here is how my bar cart looked before, and here it is now as a cozy coffee station for fall. I love how this turned out. It's practical, but it's beautiful, and I think this will be such a fun piece to style for all of the different seasons. I love that I can move this from room to room. I could even have it up in our bedroom if I wanted to, and I actually moved it to a specific spot in our living room, and I'm gonna show you that next week when I share our fall living room decor with you. Now it is coffee time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this at home coffee station idea. I would love to know what you think of this coffee station. And again, let me know down in the comments below if you are a coffee lover like me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will love and watch next right up here.